creatine. And for the next 30 days, I'll be taking this supplement that is often described as the legal version of steroids. <laughs> that girls typically stir away from because when you take it, you're expected to gain between two to five pounds within the first week. Wow. But it's been proven to help you build muscle strength yeah, and improve yeah. exercise performance. And I mean, I want to become the strongest and most athletic version of myself. So for the next 30 days, I'll be your guinea pig so you could see if this is something you'd want to try for yourself. Wow. And I'll be tracking and showing the changes that'll be happening within my weight, the physical changes within my body, my performance, strength, muscle gain, and will I be experiencing a difference within my mood and motivation. Creatine supplementation doesn't just have positive effects on physical performance, but can also be used as a way to increase mood and to improve the symptoms of major depression. So let's get started so that we can get the answers to these questions. My scale at home is about to go up in the morning because I'm about to add some creatine to my butt. Let's see what happens. I decided to start this challenge and take creatine for the first time ever on the day that I had just completed my 30-day fat loss and muscle gain experiment. 30 days ago, I set myself a challenge. I wanted to lower my body fat percentage while increasing my muscle mass, and I freaking did it. I lowered my body fat percentage over 2% and increased my muscle mass without changing the weight on the scale. It made me feel so good, so badass, so like, I believe in myself. And I I want us all to feel that way in life. So we were off to a great start with this next challenge that I wanted to do. But on this day, I also had no idea the challenges that were waiting for me ahead. According to my body fat test, at this point, I had 12.5% body fat and 107.4 pounds of lean muscle. But according to my body spec bone density test, I was at 13.2% body fat and 101.9 pounds of lean body mass. You can't eat an as e bowl. And not film it. What happens when you take creatine? The full science version or the fast version? The fast version. Creatine does two specific very important things. He then did go into a little bit of science on this whole creatine thing, which I'm thinking eventually we can do a podcast episode about. But for now, to keep it super simple, listen to this. Someone who has loaded their cells on creatine for like three, four weeks and they're fully saturated, will be able to sprint just a little bit faster than his previous self should. Gives you between a 5 and 15% increase in your performance in anaerobic activity and a little bit of anaerobic but mostly anaerobic say that you're bench pressing 10 reps the 10th rep is like your final rep you can't do more no matter if your life was dependent on it unless you do one more rep for Noah, you're never going to be allowed to eat carrots again you on creatine should be able to get at least 11 reps. So on day two, I decided to set some goals. Could I use creatine to go from being able to lift a 45 plate on each side in my bench press for one or almost two reps to maybe three, four, or five reps? Could I increase my pull-up strength by adding weight, doing lower reps to be able to go from doing 10 pull-ups to maybe 15? And in my sprints, well, I want to see if I can go as fast as this treadmill goes for 60 seconds at a time because typically I'll need a rest at about 40 seconds. And while hip thrusts, could I potentially use creatine to beat my personal record and finally grow a butt and well could i having never ever focused on my cap gains beat the big dudes at the gym and and lift 400 how pounds? much weight are you putting on your calves because i need to do the same thing so that i can get bigger calves this one is probably 400 pounds easy <laughs> It's day three, and I feel like, it may be mentally, but I feel like I can already see a difference. I don't know if it's just like placebo. I just felt like I could see a difference in the muscle definition of my upper body, especially already. And it really wasn't until about a week and a half in that I started to see both changes within my weight and performance, because looking back at day seven, when we were hanging out in one of my previous videos, I feel like I was during this time feeling both leaner and potentially placebo effect stronger. I just saw this bodybuilder. You can trust right here. With this amount so we all know what I'm about to try and do. Seeing him on like stages, like actual bodybuilder stages. So I'm thinking that if I can do this, I'm basically a bodybuilder. Never tried this hip press machine before. Oh, man, wait, can it not go further down? Very interesting. Ain't my weight though. Wait, does that mean I'm stronger than the bodybuilder? I'm so proud of myself. I've worked my way up. Today, we're going three plates. <laughs> Yeah, so things were going great. I saw no difference in the weight on the scale, but that all changed during week two as I went into two and a half weeks of traveling and at this point reached a weight higher than I had in four years. And I'll explain why this is, but first let's go back to the day before I left for my trip. It's been about a week and a half that I've been on creatine. I do feel that my muscles are popping more already. It could be just because I'm training harder. I don't know, other reasons, but I also feel like my waist it's like a little thicker as if like yeah. creatine i can see it within my abs which it could totally be because i'm bloated because that happens sometimes but i just feel like 
I see it a little bit all over. I flew to Turkey that next day and I was so incredibly lucky to have been gifted this absolutely stunning hotel apartment by Dr. Go Smile, which meant I could continue to be eating healthy. And then there was this hotel gym. But here is the TMI info that you did not ask for. Whenever I travel, I tend to not be able to use the bathroom. And on this trip, especially, possibly also due to the amnesia painkiller injections that I got highly allergic to that I received at the dentist during this trip, my belly just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I always get constipated after I have um, flow, but I feel like tomorrow morning, we're gonna be good. This is actually crazy. And it's a morning every time I fly. I don't even know if this does it justice. A lot of girls don't take creatine because they're gonna gain weight. So what happens when you take creatine is your muscles will hold a little bit more water. So the number on the scale might go up a little Just bit because your muscles will weigh more because they will have a little bit more water. Oh yeah. Not to be confused with water retention like just under your skin, which might make you look a little bit duller, a little bit less ripped. That's not what happens. Your muscles end up looking a little bit bigger because they truly really naturally hold on to just a little bit more water. It's typically recommended to take five grams of creatine per day, but a lot of people when they first start taking creatine go through a loading phase where they take up to 20 to 25 grams every single day within the first week. Now, if I'd done that, this entire bloat could have been caused by the creatine. But because I stuck to the five grams per day, I don't think this massive increase in weight was the creatine's fault because this little bloat may have felt a little uncomfy, but it was not the thing getting in the way of me reaching my goals this month. Because eventually the toilet and I, we became friends again. And so the real obstacles that were keeping me away from getting closer to reaching the goals I'd set for myself this month, they were self-induced, kind of. Because my jet lag got me waking up between one and 2 a.m. after four to five hours of sleep every night, which made me feel not very motivated nor very strong within my workouts even though I didn't skip a day at the gym and did about 10 to 20k steps per day with this gym having a little bit limited equipment instead of focusing on strength training aka heavy weights and low reps as I usually do I did lower weights and higher reps which just felt really good on my body being a little jet lagged and I kind of continued doing a lot of this type of training once I arrived in Denmark Together with a ton of group classes, which I love doing whenever I'm there. I did add in some heavy training sessions as well as continued practicing my weighted pull up. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much weight was on this bar, but I think I may have hit a hip thrust PR during this time. Now, was this due to all the carbs I'd been eating here in Denmark, or did creatine have anything to do with it? I don't know. But regardless, I know for a fact that I was not training to the best of my ability to achieve the goals that I'd set for myself at the beginning of the creatine journey. I was training a lot more for just the pure enjoyment of moving my body. But um, let's see if the creatine made up for that. My family say that they can see I got a little bit bigger. So we'll see if the tests agree. But before we fly back to LA and put all of that to the test, I just quickly want to mention that I was on top of my diet the entire time. I may have been eating more carbs, but I was also moving a lot more. If I got my rope, Sorry. If I got my rollerblades, carrots, and candy, I'm living life. Also, I tend to speak English to the Danish people here. It makes no sense. So the calories I was eating really was the same as what I was burning. 30 days ago, I decided to take creatine for the first time ever in my life. And today we're about to get tested at Body Spec to see what it's done to my body. And I already know whether or not I'm going to continue doing this moving forward. And while we wait for the test results from my DEXA scan, let's get the answers to the questions we asked in the beginning of this video. Starting off with strength, specifically pull-ups. Before you do a little bit of talk on your head. Okay. Just so that grip is never going to be an issue. I don't know why, but this number 13 has been in my mind. 13. Yeah. You're going to get it. <gasps> I'm so nervous. <laughs> so my personal record at this time is nine and a half or 10, depending on how you count. So let's see if my weighted pull-ups and creatine has been working throughout this month. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> if I were you, I would do the first six, seven, eight as quickly as I possibly okay. could. Think more explosive. And then the next few is just take them one by one if you want. Pull, 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 pull hard, pull hard, pull hard, pull hard, all the way to the top, all the way to the top, all the way to the top, all the way to the top. Very nice. Good. Very nice. Go, go, 
go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, I literally just failed at one and I had forgotten to record, so I'm kind of happy I failed. You know what this means though? I gotta crush it now. Oh, but I have to slap you again. I'm ready. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> you got this now. Come on, let's go. I need a hospital now, is what I need. We're about to see if creatine is actually just magic powder because the truth is, I did not do bench press once in Turkey nor in Denmark, and so maybe it just, you know, it just. Let me get from that one rep to two reps. Hold and explode. Push, push, push with your legs. You got it. Go, go, go. All the way up. No. No. So close. Uh, so close. What? Water oh, bottle. <laughs> okay, so bad news. Creatine is not some magical powder. You actually have to work out to see results. But you know what? I'm gonna keep working out and at, the, at some point I'm gonna get four plates too. Also, the truth is that your body is already actually producing creatine and you're consuming it through red meat and seafood. But by taking it as a supplement, you're just increasing the amount. Cats. 400 pounds, you're Please be careful. Please be careful, yes. Wow! Whoa! Oh, she got calves. <laughs> Guys, you gotta level up. I mean, this is easy. Did I experience improved performance within my sprint and sprint for 60 seconds at a time with a little rest in between? Yes, I did. The question is though, could I have done that without the creatine? That's very likely. When we progressively overload ourselves, we're progressively going to get stronger, be able to perform better. And so I don't know how much the creatine had to do with it. Did my butt grow? We're still working on it. That's actually a part of the next 30 day challenge that I'm doing. So subscribe and stay tuned because it's going to be fun. Now, if we take a look at the physical changes within my body, I honestly don't see too much a difference. And as you saw, how my body looks depends on many factors and varies day to day. And that also shows within my weight that I tracked these last 30 days. And when we compare the three decks, scans i weigh the exact same which also potentially could be due to a slight caloric deficit i lost 0.3 pounds of fat and i gained 0.4 pounds of muscle so very small changes compared to the first challenge i did where i had more of a stable and planned out approach now let's talk about the mood booster thingy because have i been happy absolutely but have i felt unmotivated there's something about jet lag that gets me just out of the flow but that's when i've told myself you just gotta get your butt there and do the work and that always just makes me feel so much better and so if you're having one of those days i don't know maybe creatine could have a positive effect on your mood long term but for right now get up and do something right now that you know is going to make you feel so good within and proud of yourself because you deserve it well <laughs> hi <laughs>